views and opinions expressed did not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever this is shown. Ah, this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page. Welcome. Today I have a special guest beside me to my left, which is Rudy Cashman, Dr. Rudy good to Cashman. see you. Good to <laughs> be seen. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> this yeah. is John Dickmeyer, my co-host. Hi, Patty. And my other co-host, Terry Dorn. Hi, Patty. So we are going to be grilling him, ah, no, <laughs> asking questions about what he's been up to and all that sort. So you're from where? Uh, I'm a wellness doctor now. Yeah, I was a neurosurgeon for 45 years, uh, but all the time that I was seeing patients, I realized a lot of them had lifestyle problems. Oh. You know, 70, 80 percent of them we're not exercising, eating the wrong food, yeah. and they wanted me to do these fancy operations. I, and I took an interest in that and started, uh, you know, reading a lot and mm. uh, developed my own access TV shows. And, and, and th then I realized that probably 50% uh, of them really had type 2 diabetes and its complications come to see me wanting a back fusion or things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I started publishing about it and reading about it. And, that's turned into very, now into my passion. I'm a wellness doctor now, and I'm fulfilling a purpose in life at this tender age of 39, my 42nd <laughs> time I've been that here that I've celebrated that. It's coming up in two weeks. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, old uh, chap. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. That's and, uh, cool. So uh, I'm living my dream, to be honest with you, and, and uh, to be in this great show, maybe I'll end up with a sense of humor when time it's done, too. Yeah, by the time we get through with you, man. I think age is a matter of the mind. It, it's, it's the idea that you have in your own mind and the spirit that you have. And if you have that right spirit, you'll be young forever. You know, I happen to agree with that 100%. Because cause I'm, I'm living that. I'm living that. I'm, you know, I'm 82 in, uh, in April, and oh. I play, you know, four sports, take tap dance lessons, and mm -hmm. have a radio and a TV show and read books and write books. And, uh, and, and uh, to me, age is irrelevant. As a matter of fact, it offends me if somebody brings it up. But you're speaking like I speak. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the sport of choice that you've adopted. You know, it's interesting because... Uh, 50 years, people have gone to Sweeney, have seen me play tennis tournaments, and I won a lot of them too. I oh got yeah. hundreds of trophies. Now it's pickleball. I took a pickleball. It's almost at all the Y's and other places now, parks. And, uh, and uh, you know, you, I think you have to look at it first before you decide, that's what I'm going to play, so I don't want you to go out and run out and play it right away. But, but that's what I enjoy playing even more, a little more than uh, tennis, which I still play also. Yeah. <laughs> but in lifestyle uh, <coughs> changes, you would advocate exercise as one of the big uh, changes? Absolutely, uh, to uh, keep moving. Actually, movement is it. I'm not saying okay. about running marathons, right. movement. And I, I even wrote a book called Sitting Diseases on Amazon. Oh, right. That's that my problem. Uh, s movement is really our secret. Uh, it's based on, on scientific research, uh, based on what they learned from the astronauts about the effects of gravity on your body. Everything in life is gravity. And if you're not moving, your muscles are going to go away, you're going to develop osteoporosis. And, and uh, so it's very important. It could be uh, dancing. <laughs> Actually, one of the sports I'm doing now, believe it or not, <laughs> tap dancing. <laughs> you tap dancing? Oh yeah. See, if, if you can do it in a little, I have a molly floor, I can do this little area. 
Uh, and, uh, Is that the gravel you put yeah, on? Yeah, and there? gravity, and you move on it. It's music, raindrops falling on my head. Or <laughs> New York, New York. Want me to sing them for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Going to add singing now to your list of talents. All right. I, I sing while I do it. Okay. Uh, and, uh, that, and that's a lesson I take. It's at Sweetwater. I got mm -hmm. thank for us for Sweetwater. What a great, great place. So. That leads to good exercise is important. You gotta gotta move, but you gotta move the brain too. Yeah. You know, get not motivated. Just, yeah, uh, use your brain. I don't care if it's puzzles, Sudoku, or writing, or, or uh, mm -hmm. whatever checkers, chess. But you gotta use this brain also besides moving uh, the body. To, we can be well way into our hundreds uh, if we watch what we eat, move our feet, and don't get hit by a truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he can live to be 100 without difficulty. The darn trouble is uh, a lot of people have a little bad habits. You know, they're smoking, well, they're drinking, and, yep. and, and alcohol will just shrink the brain. I was a neurosurgeon, I saw it. That brain can get an inch off the skull, and it Ew. doesn't come back. Really? Wow. It doesn't come back, so mm -hmm. habits are, are, are very important. But my main focus, really, at the moment, because I do wellness uh, uh, teaching, if people want to see me personally, uh, I see them for nothing uh, at the Three Rivers Pharmacy back in Cordia High there, the oh yeah. Anthony. Okay. This wonderful lady, Sh Sheila Wallace, has given me a free office, a place I can meet people. She buys a seven-foot screen TV. You can speak to the programmer and say, Cashman Preventing Diabetes Show, bango, it comes on this TV. You sit down what? and watch it. And my public access <laughs> TV show shows from here, which I've probably got 500 on YouTube, they show up and educate people for free. <coughs> and I talk to them too. And, and uh, isn't that wonderful? I'm living no the dream. No kidding. You I'm just say your name in the show and it comes up? Y exactly. Oh my God. She oh. says to the programmer, you know, mm. they, they have that now. You know, um, a gluten diseases, a Cashman show, bango, it's on there. And uh, isn't that wonderful? How but, many but shows have Rudy, you Rudy, to and your uh, credit, uh, you do uh, this to help probably people and you don't even charge them. a thousand, I think. 15 years I've been doing it here, so. Well, I have so, uh, 409. But I have to, you have to thank Public Access TV. I mean, yeah. Public that you access can is good. express your opinion yes. with a 90% of what you want to say. Uh, anybody can do it. Uh, and uh, since I have uh, 1,200 books in my basement, <laughs> I have a lot to say. Uh, uh, but I'm a doctor, you know, it's my job to get people well. And, uh, and, uh, and then. Of my shows come uh, opportunities like Patty's wonderful <laughs> show that she invites me to, to, to be on to, to spread the word because opportunity is there. Uh, we we I hate to say it, but we have a pretty unhealthy community. We have all these <coughs> wonderful people, but they lack knowledge. And, and I think it's a responsibility in part the medical profession. We are not teaching the people to prevent their illnesses. We're writing a script, or let's have this procedure. Sometimes they're necessary, but a lot of it is preventable things, and this is the information, uh, like uh, vascular disease, 90% uh, uh, preventable. Diabetes got 30 illnesses attached to it, type two mainly, yeah, have, but yeah. can be uh, stopped, prevented, and reversed. That's my main <coughs> focus, because I can help a lot of people, and I do. Uh, many people who, who are in this play, uh, and uh, so uh, that, that's really what I'm aiming at. Uh, if I could say a few more words, could I say a few more words on it, Patty? You may. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you can pick up for free this one-page thing I wrote on diabetes uh, because, you know, it's, it's uh, especially doctors, I can't get them to read a book. And, uh, and, and no less uh, people. always saying I'm too busy. <coughs> you know, we're too busy or one thing or another. So I reduced to one page. You can pick this up for free uh, at the pharmacy there or one of my lectures I give uh, at Lufthansa Hospital once a month. You can go to cashman-health.com and the schedule is on there. Free lectures there on preventing uh, diabetes. Uh, but the reason I'm so passionate uh, uh, about it is, I'm going to tell you some of the, the, the illnesses that diabetes uh, ca causes. Uh, usually it's, it starts with numbness uh, in, the, in the hands or in the feet, that's one. Mm -hmm. But a lot of memory loss in the memory, they'll call it Alzheimer's disease. But I tell you, 75% of it is from 
type 2 diabetes. Oh, oh. Wow. yeah, preventable. See, that's good news. You know, people think, you know, Eli Lilly just spent a billion bucks looking for the one drug to prevent Alzheimer's disease. They couldn't come up with it. A billion, if they had taken that one billion, invested in, in diabetes prevention, oh my God, the rate of uh, memory loss and dementia would go way down. And I told the head researcher that at a cocktail party maybe two years ago, mm. but, but he thought I'd landed from Mars. But, it, but the thing is, insulin resistance, which is what causes oh. diabetes, okay, mm. uh, uh, is the biggest cause of memory loss. Yeah, the sugar combines with proteins, gets deposited in the brain called ages, uh, and they cause memory loss and dementia. If you could get rid of type, your type 2 diabetes, which you can 90% of the time, in a month, in a month. I have but many well, books to back me up, yeah. What well, about medicines, I mean, to maintain? To make yeah, we, we take medicines to maintain it. They're important, but you can get rid of the disease. What? Insulin saves lives, but uh, insulin is also antibiotic. You stiffen your arteries. It causes a weight gain. Some wow. people need it to save their lives, especially type type right. one. Uh, but you can get rid of the disease most of the time. Uh, let, let me quickly review things you could read. So this you can pick up at the pharmacy. It has on the, on the back the complications, amputations. Uh, if you uh, stop prevent diabetes it's in about a month. You'll live probably 25 years longer. Wow. You will avoid 35 years of disability, which involves cataracts, wow. dementia, thyroid disease, unannounced heart attacks, wow. renal transplants, liver tra transplants, wow. ovarian types, cancer, breast cancer. cancer. Preventable the majority of the time. What is the spell off opportunity? Suppose you don't want to read it. And I have blood testing on here, blood plus. See, for 10, 15 years, we look normal, we act normal, but we're pre-diabetic, okay? Mm, I was. Where your blood sugar is normal, but your serum insulin is elevated and they never test for it. I was high pro. Get mm. a serum, get a serum insulin. Yeah, yeah. And oh. if that's elevated, you're pre-diabetic, knock off 10% of your body weight, diabetes is gone. 30 diseases are eliminated. Isn't that a wonderful opportunity? So pick this up, and it tells you what blood test you should be getting, okay? Uh, and and, and it, the path to diabetes, you want to catch it before it even manifest. Simple. 15 years, you can go without any symptoms, but you're pre-diabetic, wow. unannounced heart attacks, strokes, cancer, breast cancer can occur in pre-diabetes. That's the reason I'm for testing, okay? Yeah, All right. diabetes is and, in my family. Yeah, and a lot of it, you might see it's, I hear this a lot, that, uh, that my whole family's got type 2 diabetes, has diabetes. But I tell oh, you don't. what really the problem is, ge gene genetic expression is maybe 5-10% of it. Yeah. You're all eating the same food. You're all so not exercising. So, about so it's not a, mm -hmm. a, a, a largely genetic disease. It's lifestyle uh, disease. What you're eating, whether you are exercising. Uh, and then uh, if I could review a couple of uh, books here. You know, to me, I wrote a book called The New Slavery. Yes, it's slavery that for sure? uh, be because uh, we're slave to sugar. Sugar addicts us. We all do. It's designed by nature to keep us alive. But we should be eating maybe 20 pounds a year and we're eating 200. Some people eat 300. Uh, sugar uh, is a booger and a hooker. <laughs> well, <I'm not> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's getting us. So very wow. interesting to read because uh, the slaves, they didn't feed them. No lunch, no dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, and they ate sugar cane, so they sensitized their genetic structure. So uh, Asians and blacks are even more likely to get diabetes. Uh, and I, I, you know, we were talking about the test. You know what the best test really is for diabetes without going to a lab? Measure your belly size. You got a pot belly, you got a pot belly, you got a pre-diabetes or diabetes. Did you hear that? Let me repeat that again. Wow. You got a pot belly, odds are you're diabetic or pre-diabetic. Best test there is. Guess I uh, am. And, uh, and need to go back to your doctor. Well, your blood sugar is normal. If you're overweight, you got a pot belly, you say, I want a serum insulin. That's elevated, you're pre diabetic. Mm -hmm. And you can go to the, if your doctor won't teach you how to get rid of it, go to the Three Rivers Pharmacy. I'll see you for nothing. I see 
uh, every this Friday I see Lane, patients there. Uh, it's right back in Concordia yeah. High School there. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to read other books, which I'm going to recommend in a minute here, uh, it's by Dr. Furman, my friend, who will be in town incidentally in September. He said uh, to, to speak at the First Assembly Church. Uh, he's written many famous books, uh, Eat to Live, End of Diabetes uh, is a book here that he wrote, uh, End of Diabetes. On the original hard copy, you'll see my uh, name on the back cover. I reviewed, mm. I reviewed it. He put my name on there. Uh, uh, and uh, Goodbye Diabetes, Dr. Wes Youngberg. Uh, he went to the island of Guam and, and for the Amund Society oh. from Utah. Mm -hmm. And 90% and, uh, of the natives were diabetic because mm. they were feeding them American food. Oh. And when, uh, yeah, there used to be these beautiful, gorgeous natives uh, eating fish and, and fresh vegetables, and then the, the, they was bombed in the Second World War, and they, they ate uh, Americans that brought the food in, and all gave them diabetes, mm -hmm. every one of them. He was there 15 years, so he wrote Goodbye Diabetes, excellent book, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the lab testing I do is part of it, but suppose you don't want to read, okay? Get this cookbook, uh, Eat to Live, Quick Fix, by my friend uh, Dr. Furman, like I said, he's coming to town in, in uh, September. We'll be at the First Assembly Church. He said he wouldn't come to Fort Wayne unless he could stay at wow. my house. <laughs> and he's going to feed compliment. you? Compliment, yeah. Incredible. And this, this cookbook here has pictures of recipes and smoothies. I encourage people uh, to take, a and the recipes are in here. You can get easy to find recipes. You know, kale and spinach and, and, and fruit and, and nuts and, and and Stay seeds and uh, and I have a smoothie every day because it meets your vitamin, your mineral, uh, and your phytochemical need that your body needs. The reason we're eating so much, and, 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 and for example, fast food has no nutrients in it. Our body needs these nutrients, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, to run the machinery of our body. If it doesn't have that, we will keep on eating, keep on eating, uh, to meet our nutrient need. Uh, and and this, so I have a smoothie every day. I had one today because it meets my need. I won't be hungry till five or so tonight. Uh, mm. uh, and uh, if you were to cook out of this, if suppose you're diabetic, if you were to cook out of this for 90 days, 90% 90 chance you're type 2 diabetes with 30 odd diseases, okay, from amputations to blindness to canes to God knows what, dementia to a nursing home. A shortened life, 25 years, disability, 35 years, could be eliminated, could be avoided if you do this for about a month and then continue. What's in there? The and, kind uh, of recipes. And, uh, and, uh, and, and you can just open it up and, and uh, oh. uh, two bean chili. There's always a picture and the name and the smoothies in here, only 15 pages to read. Uh, and if you cook out of here, your disease will be gone. I know it. I, I follow it myself. I highly recommend it. Uh, uh, and uh, pretty much, I think, it's probably the end of my story. And with that, Patty, I'm uh, going to I'm give you this book as a present uh, <laughs> for allowing me <laughs> to speak on your show. Oh, uh, I, I, I do need this. How about meat? Do you eat meat? Uh, maybe 20% at best. I mean, it, frankly, it goes right off the sheet at the bottom. To keep it simple, uh, you know, I say 70, 80 percent vegetables and fruit, 20 percent organic meat. Mm. Uh, raise your activity of living a little bit. Diabetes. What if you can't eat? Zane, goodbye. What if you can't eat beef wow. or pork or ham or whatever? How lucky something? can you be? <laughs> 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 no, meeting is full of cancer factors and a lot of fat in it. Uh, you don't yeah. want to be immediate, but the worst of all is the sugar. Yeah, mm. we're eating a very high sugar diet. And, it's, it, it, and, uh, and you need to get rid of the Corn sugar. Corn syrup <coughs> is and, uh, bad. And, uh, and, uh, and, you know, have a good breakfast, eat three mm. meals a day, and, and take a walk. Yes. And uh, don't need to go to the gym necessarily. I recommend that, mm -hmm. but very few people do. So Do uh, an hour walk or, or half hour or whatever. Oh, uh, walk a half hour. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. the dog with you. I, every morning... Uh, I don't care what the weather is. I walk in nature. Mm. I, I, I look at the trees. I look at the leaves when there are leaves. <laughs> I sing with the birds. You know, I, I know the cardinals were following me this morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and tomorrow will be the, the red-winged blackbirds. Oh. And, uh, but, but I, 
listen to the sounds of nature. I practice my songs I've learned, about 10, 15 songs I memorize. I sing them out there because nobody else will listen otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but birds are listening. They're following. So uh, I think a walk in nature is very relaxing. It de-stresses me. You know what I mean? I feel really good yeah. uh, at the um, end of it. And relating yourself to nature, of course, uh, nature is us. Mm -hmm. If you eat nature, it has been proven now, if you eat nature, there's some mathematics, Fibonacci numbers in nature, if you eat nature, you will look like nature, and I can prove it to you with pictures. If you have any of you see, I have a, on my phone here pictures of people who lost 100 pounds, 150 pounds, uh, because the mathematics, the biomathematics, and the food they're eating, the, the uh, vegetables and the fruit, is rearranging their mm -hmm. genetics of their body. I, I have pictures. You, you wouldn't believe it, but, but remember what I said? We are nature. We yes. are nature. If yeah. you eat nature, you look like nature. You uh, eat manufactured foods, you're going to look like <laughs> manufactured yes. foods. Yeah, good point. Thanks, Question. Pat. Stress. Yes. This country is under a lot of stress. I think this is a big point. She said, said stress. It's, it's huge. That's the reason, you know, I get up. Uh, we all need a quick fix. I get up in the morning. The wife gives me a hug. Okay, that works. My two cats are uh, laying on the left side of my chest like you do every morning. That de-stresses me. I, I sit out uh, the, looking at the, at the bird feeder and, and the rabbits and the everything. Deer, last night deer were feeding there. Oh. And then I take my walk in nature. That's my quick fix. Uh, you can also get a copy of 20 Things to Reduce Stress at the pharmacy. I'll have it waiting for you, 20 recommendations mm. on how to uh, uh, de-stress, wow. from meditation to breathing to music to, um, to dancing. And oh yeah, uh, I've read a lot of the books of Norman Vincent Peale, incidentally. One of the things he has in there, uh, after 7 o'clock at night, we don't talk of problems in the house. Mm. It can't be brought up till 7 a.m. That 12-hour period, Hey, it's nothing but, nothing but uh, 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 us uh, and, and the animals and God and whatever you choose mm -hmm. uh, because we're stress eaters. We need a quick fix. Uh, when I go to factories today, they're all smoking. 90% smoking factories. You think it's 20%? No, it's 90%. Just these wonderful people have stress in their lives. Yeah. And then one of them saw me the other day and said, you know, Doc, uh, after I gave him a talk there, he said, a lot of us drink too. Why are they doing that? To de-stress. So we want to learn other methods of de-stressing. So my 20 prescriptions for stress reduction, yeah. you get a free copy at the pharmacy there. Well, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, so that was a great question, Patty. Yeah, I know. I really like your idea of eliminating uh, stressful activities at night. Yeah. and. I think it's particularly necessary. I mean, that's what's going to give you a good night's sleep. Because otherwise, I find in my own life that there's a tendency to rehearse mm -hmm. things that, oh, yeah. that I've thought about in the hour or so before I've gone to bed. It's, it's human nature. I mean, can you imagine, uh, you know, be, you got four or five kids and your woman, you're trying to raise them and mm. the finances are borderline as in many people's lives. You know, I mean, you got to uh, learn to uh, sing a song, walk the dog, uh, hug the kids, uh, some method, maybe a little meditation area in the house. Mm. You have to have a plan on how to de-stress. That's the reason I recommend those 20 prescriptions. You'll learn something about yeah. uh, Life is stress. You know, yeah, you I think, uh, Rudy, you stressless life. Baloney. Mm -hmm. The first thing I did after doing a neurosurgical operation, turn on the radio, leaving the hospital, and I'm there conducting the orchestra and some music. Some guy was driving behind me, and he knows my phone number. <laughs> what are you doing, Doc? He says, I'm conducting the orchestra. I memorized some Tony Bennett songs, and <laughs> it was de-stressing me. Yeah. Oh, you tear. Yeah. Well, I think what you're saying, uh, Dr. Cashman, is profound. Profound in the sense that this country's medical system is yeah. uh, threatened by people like you because yeah. Yeah. you said those guys at the 
party looked yeah. at you like you were from Mars. Yeah. But they make money off this stuff, oh, the, the bad know. things you're saying. I know it is. And, and what you're saying is, for very little money, I can cure you. Not like give you medicine and maintain it so it doesn't get worse, but cure you. What a profound difference. It, it is so nice to hear yeah. from you yeah. that I don't have to say it because really what I got mm -hmm. on mind, the 70-80% of what we're doing in medicine today is not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Vascular Operation. disease, heart attacks, mm. uh, you see heart hospital, heart hospital. 90% yeah, yeah. of vascular disease could be avoided by doing the things I spoke about. Are they the ones leading the fight yeah. uh, on prevention? You, you see them on, on these shows? No. Uh, they just operate. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't stop me and, uh, and, uh, because the people are supporting me. The people are supporting me. Yes. I mean, you're a champion, and I, I applaud you're a pioneer, you, really. Actually. A champion of, of justice, really, because justice is having a healthy life. You can't deal with all these other things if you're sick. Mm -hmm. You've got diabetes and all these terrible diseases, you know. You're health so is right. paramount. That's an early if you death. have health, you're a millionaire. Yeah. If you have nothing, but you have good health, mm -hmm. you're a millionaire. Yeah, you People don't realize yeah. that. No, they well. don't. That's worth a million bucks. Oh, my God. So the public, you know, is, is part of this. But some of it is, is the school system has got to make this big priority that we teach a healthy lifestyle mentally, physically. It has to be top of the list. All this information, all this digital information, not going to do us any good if we don't have good habits. You know something is getting on towards the end of this show. Uh, it's my pleasure that, to be here. Yes. And, and I, I've noticed yourself, your co-host, are well-informed people. Yes, they are. And actually think like me. <laughs> I and certainly I'm do. And I'm just thinking, I'm <laughs> drinking all this in because this is the way I want my audience to be able to know that they are going to be healthy. Dr. Rudy Cashman is one of my favorite doctors. Okay, thanks so much for saying this, and, uh, and we've done things before too, and I, you, you know I cared so much about you that even with you, all your friends, um, remember I made a house call on you guys yes, yeah, you to, sure to, coach, to coach you a, a, a little bit, and it was my pleasure. So this book, this cookbook, where can you get it on? In the, uh, uh, Amazon Books, uh, or you, you can go, go uh, to the local bookstores, they, they get it, they have it in stock. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but uh, Amazon books that comes in the next day it'll be in the mail. So his website is Rudy Cashman at Yahoo is one. You can go to uh, f uh, Facebook Cashman Live to Be a Hundred uh, is one or, uh, or another one. The main my main website Cashman Hyphen Health uh, dot com and that leads you to the uh, other sites. And if you want to see me in person, go to Three Rivers Pharmacy and uh, say hello to Sheila Wallace. Uh, she'll line you up to, to see me, a wonderful person. So this is Patty Hunter along with John Dickmeyer and Terry Dorn, my co-hosts. Thank you, Dr. Thanks Rudy Cashman. This is, Patty, this is Patty Hunter, Patty's page. You'll see you next week. Ciao. So until